So ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm in my onesie, but today is a good reason. I'm going to be putting the Can-Am back together again. Check it out, boys. We've got the new Torque Series differential from Mud and Wheels. I'll put the link in the description below where I purchased this from so you guys can get yours. Can-Ams are notorious for them going out, so today we're going to be putting it back together. I got another video. This is going to be part two of our video of how to replace your rear differential. All right, boys, let's get right to it. All right, the first step is gonna to be to get this, this screw nut back in here. All right, so I'm gonna update you a little bit on this part here. Hope you can see it. I actually got it uh, screwed in really tight. It took me a while. I was recording to try to get everything, but it was so hard that it, um, I decided to go ahead and try to put it on before I try to explain to you guys how I put it on. When you start, make sure that you put your bike in neutral. That way when you stick the shaft in there, you, you can still turn it and get the screw where you need it. After you get to the very last spot, you're gonna want to put your bike back in park so you can finish off tighten it uh, by hand but make sure that when you put the bike back in park you leave the shaft this part here uh, on a 90 degree angle or uh, running perpendicular so you can still get the wrench in I got it in from this side I don't know if you can see my finger I got it in from this side and I did all my tightening and it's righty tighty lefty loosey so I I went up with it to tighten it. So yeah, you want to leave this uh, going straight up so you can get the wrench in here this way. And then you put it in park. All right. Now, this differential didn't come with a few things. It didn't come with the screw that goes here. It didn't come with the screw that goes in the bike. And it doesn't come with the, the field cap. Okay. So before you get rid of this, you got to take all that stuff off. Um, I'm gonna take that one off and the drain plug so uh, after I do that I'm gonna go ahead and install it and let's get to it if I can't stick something in here all right okay that will work tools helps I don't have what tools a ratchet wrench the ones that have the little ratchet thing they ratchet back that'd be nice so here's my setup a breaker bar just stick it in there and put your foot on it and put weight on it put whatever you got to on it that'll keep this that'll keep this from turning Now that I got this off, I'm gonna clean it. And all I'm using here is just your regular brake cleaner. All right. So, now that I got my bolt, let's try to stick this in there. And it don't fit. It better fit. I'm gonna be really, really upset if it don't fit. Fit. 
shit. Might have to take this off too. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to. All right, boys. What I'm doing here, it won't go in all the way, so I'm gonna loosen these and see if I can't move it up. There's two bolts on each side. There's one there, there's one there. You're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket, two actually, to get the one from the back. What boys, you thought it was gonna be easy? Huh? All right, make sure the bike's in neutral. That way, you can move this. However you need, adjust it. Just gonna grease it up, boys. Like I said, it didn't call for it, but a little bit of grease never hurt nobody. Good boys. Break it. So don't want it to come out. <sighs> Whew. What do you think, boys? Looking like a can am now, boys. That's how you install the diff. But uh hope you're as excited as I am the new diff all right boys i'm gonna put you on a time lapse and we will catch you when everything is done All right guys, now that everything's put back together, it's time to fill up the uh, rear differential um, using 75 weight 140 All right. until it starts pouring out like that. Then you know you had enough. But what I'm gonna do, just to be on the safe side, is gonna turn the wheels a little bit. I'll put it. And there's no real way to overfill it. Because if you do, it's just going to come out. So, I think we've got enough in there. I'm going to let the excess run out. Put the cap on. We'll drain it once I get the tires back on. But for now, 
make sure you don't make sure you use the right allen wrench so you won't um strip this there's a fill plug here right here it takes a smaller allen wrench loosen this first because if you let all your oil out and then you can't get this off or you can't replace it then you're in trouble but let's get the tires on and um let's start her up <laughs> guys so you see that vent line here um, it's very hard to put this on the new diff so what I'm gonna do is try to uh, warm this up a little bit I'm gonna use some boiling water and just let it sit in here for a minute try not to get any water in there because that is your diff um, so all I did was I boiled some water I'm using this measuring cup to warm up the uh rubber hose hopefully easier to stretch out over that little there's like a little nipple right here okay so it might be enough i don't want any water in here because that does lead to your your diff all right all the water's out now and there you go that's how you get the vent line back on there tried to do it before and um i could not get it it was so it's right now it's really cold out here so this was very very cold um so you saw what i did i just boiled a little bit of water and i let it sit in there for maybe less than a minute and voila thanks guys for watching all right guys so the 570 is finally back it's done we installed the rear differential. It took me, uh, glad I took it apart before. So all we had to do was put it back together. I hope you enjoy the footage. I hope it helps you out. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do me a favor, go ahead and share it with whoever owns a Can-Am and is going through similar situations in hopes that it's gonna help them out. Thanks guys again for watching. And until next time, later.